All right, here we are at 6939 Highway 11, Sunset, South Carolina. That's Highway 11 out there. Driveway goes down this way, kind of meanders around. Comes out almost right in front of where I am. But I'll show you that in a second. Have a huge, you could get probably three cars under here. It looks like it's about probably 30 by 30. You've got raised bed planters over here. You've got a separate pad over here. You could possibly put a garage or an outbuilding of some kind. Looks like they've already got the electrical wired up. Maybe it was an RV pad at one time. A little bit of algae on the roof, but I don't think that's anything to be concerned about. The roof appears to be in good shape. Siding, um, the logs are looking like they're in good shape too. Uh, I'm not going to walk down here in my dress shoes, but um, we'll just go around this way on the upper level and look down. Doesn't appear to, appear to be any problem with uh, carpenter bees here. Nice wide porch. It's probably about 12 feet wide, and I'm standing back at the rail. It's probably about 25, 30 feet to the to where it transitions over. These logs, for the most part, appear to be pretty well taken care of. And then that's down into that part of the yard I would, didn't want to walk in. It's all moss, mossy down there. Not sure what that is. It could be a well house. Uh, chicken coop down there There is gas here. I guess for gas logs. I I've got to look at the fireplace um, And see what the stove is This porch is a little narrower. It's probably about five six feet wide and Probably from end to end probably about 50 feet. I would guess again all the wood appears to be in good shape. You have a terracotta stone entryway here. That leads upstairs. But um, all the interior walls, they appear to be in pretty good shape. Some floor plug there. Uh, no, this is not. This does not appear to be um, uh, gas logs. So this would be your living room. And then back here is your dining area. Again, you have the uh, terracotta tiles here. That's the back door. Cabinets. Uh, so the stove is gas. You got your dishwasher there. It's like a pretty good quality of cabinet uh, drawer. Pantry. There's a mud room right here. 
your laundry hookups there. Must be a burnout light. Uh, more storage there, and there's more storage here. Huge beams. All right, then we'll. That's where your refrigerator would go. And that's down to the basement. We'll go down there in a second. You've got a bathroom here. Again, with all the exposed beams, there's a full bath. Storage. Bedroom here. Cedar line closets. the walk here back in the living room your master bedroom here nice big exposed beams That's your master bedroom uh, bathroom double vanity walk-in closet here Toilet there, nice spacious here, a lot of space here. Uh, shower, double head. Now we'll go upstairs and then we'll go down to the basement. Now, there is opening right there if you see it where the door jam and the wall meet, but I guess that's inherent to log cabins. Nice wide staircase. So these could very easily be, this could be walled off made more space out of it you could turn it into an office or a bedroom overlooking and this one is a mirror image of the other side over there then you overlook into the kitchen and the dining area and into the living room Wow, this is one of the brightest and cleanest basements I've seen. So they must have had some moisture issues at some point because they that looks like dry lock along there, along those two walls. Um, so they did prevent, you know, they are taking, they did take precautions to stop it from uh, the moisture wicking through. Ductwork looks really good. Huge I beam right there. Steel I beam. Uh, this is your air handler for the house. Water heater is up there. And I'm outside here. Whole house generator right here. 
That's a nice touch. And it's protected from the elements somewhat. Alright, that'll do it for this. I'm going to take another one as up the, out the drive as you drive down and send that to you as well.